everyone, welcome to this video where I am going to be talking a little bit about our sleep setup. There are so many different topics related to sleep that I think would be really helpful to talk about, but if we did them all in one video, we would be here for years. So I'll just start with our current sleep setup with Willa and everything that we have to make it as successful as possible. Like I mentioned, sleep is so complex and it is ever-changing, especially in the first year. But we have kept quite a few things consistent with Willa since she was teeny-weeny, so I'll give you an idea of where she is at now at one year old. And we'll probably keep this set up until she transitions into a toddler bed. This is the crib we have. It's the Stoka Sleepy Crib System. Stoka makes really high quality products and we like this one for a number of different reasons. First of all, I just really like the oval design. It's really nice and unique. Another great thing about it is that it starts as a mini, so it's a little bit smaller and cozier for your baby. It also has wheels, so this is great when your baby is a newborn and you would like to maybe roll it into different rooms around the house super convenient and the last thing I really like about it is that the mattress height is adjustable so you know when Willow was a newborn we had it a little bit higher up and now that she's crawling and walking and developing and all those good things um, we have it down to the lowest setting so that she's nice and safe I did want to mention here that Willa did start out napping during the day out in our living room in a bassinet but this is something that I'll expand upon in a different video for our mattress, uh, this crib system did come with a mattress, but we felt that it was super important for Willa to be sleeping on something safe, breathable, organic, all those things. So we actually bought this mattress separately from Nook Sleep. It is completely non-toxic from the inside out, very comfy, and we love this because Willa is literally on top of it all the time. The sheets we have are actually a collab between a brand called Pear and Stoka. They just have really cute sheets that fit the oval shape. They're 100% organic, so again, super safe materials for our babe. One thing I did notice with Willa as her hair started to grow in was that she developed a little bit of a bald spot just where her head was rubbing against the mattress. So I found these crib slips. They're made of silk and they're meant to help with that. Definitely helped a little bit with Willa. Not completely, but again, no big deal because her hair is growing in just fine now. Uh, but I do keep it in there now because Willa really likes to use it to self-soothe as she takes herself to sleep and so that's just a real big bonus for us. The next thing I'll mention is that we really wanted a way to darken the room. Uh, definitely not necessary earlier on in Willa's life, but as she became more aware and sensitive to the light, we felt it was really important to help her with her sleep. We have blinds in Willa's room, but they still bring a little bit of light in, so we needed something extra. Because we live in an apartment that we rent, I didn't want to pay for curtains and then bring them down again, so we actually looked at a few different just temporary options that we could go for. One of the options I looked at was a suction cup sheet where you put up onto the windows, but the reason why I didn't go for that was just because a lot of the reviews said that they smelled very chemical-y, so I wanted to stay away from that. So the option that I actually did go for was just a roll of black craft paper and some paint tape and we use that to help darken it a little bit and that seemed to work really well. I really like the option that we went with uh, just because it is really easy to take these materials with us wherever we go. So if we're traveling, um, any room that Will is sleeping in, I can darken it to wherever point I need to. And I know that I can take everything down without damaging anything. The last thing we have in our sleep setup is our humidifier. I specifically chose this humidifier because it is extremely easy to wash properly from the inside out so we don't have to worry about any mold growth which is something that I'm extremely concerned about. These are all of the things that we have to set up Willa's sleep environment and in part two I'll go into a little bit more about her pre-sleep routine and all of the things that we need for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you are finding these videos helpful, there is a lot more to come. So I would love for you to like, share, and subscribe. And please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see a video on in the comments below. See you in part two.